Right to you all my farming buddies. This is Farmer George, Help and Playing Tips Part 2. I don't know how many parts it's going to be in. Uh, just a quick clip here to show you uh, a bit of continuity from the last video. This is where we left off, chasing the uh, sprayer on field 2. Of course, we'll never catch up with it because we've got a, a slower vehicle for a start. And that's got a wider span as the sprayer. Um, so what we can tell you is that we're starting at the top of the field and um, we've got the 770, the Lexi and 770 Harvester uh, with higher a worker. The sprayer is actually working on a course play course and the course play course is called, um, I've just called it F2 for field 2 spray um, northwest because it starts in the northwest corner and then O1 because I split the field into two parts for spraying. Um, this is the overloader. I like this overloader. It's a very good mod because it's very realistic in the fact that the pipe moves, the pipe folds, you can um, lean the pipe in and out. Um, it's quite a big hopper. An overloader by the way is called an overloader because it loads other vehicles, other tippers, trucks from the top over the top. So that's why it's called an overloader. And um, this uh, overloader actually puts a, a track in the crops, as I mentioned earlier. You'll see it in, back in, um, I mentioned it in part one. You'll see that later on in this video. Um, what we've got here is a little hang up. Um, I was going to call. Once you've got them, the um, overloader and the harvester linked together with cosplay, you can call the truck at any time you want. So if you're manually driving this, or if you're just switching to it from time to time, you can call it. Um, but otherwise, it's set to be called automatically by cosplay when the um, thing reaches 60%. This is an image of, um, if you look just underneath my clock, you see that the light. Lexian 770 you can see its fill limit and when it reaches 80% as it's just done it sticks its pipe out but I can monitor that even when I'm in the vehicles like I'm in the overloader here and you can see um, that I can still monitor the Lexian's fill rate and I can see whenever it goes um, gets any hang ups and gets stuck. What's going to happen here is um, I, I thought I'd leave these things um, that go wrong in here, just so you explain how to fix them. Um, generally what happens here is the uh, the Lexian harvester is going to stop uh, because the overloader is caught up with it and the ideal situation is to have the Lexian on the move all the time which is to do the um, in, in this case the best way to do the field would be from north to south and not um, east to west, west to east harvesting it because it's, there's many turnarounds but considering I leave this field running um, whilst I'm doing other things and I can keep an eye on the Lexian um, Lexian's progress how full it is and if it stops for any length of time um, if you've got your overloader working from the top end of the field and you're working from top to bottom generally um, they will not have these hang ups but you're going to see here that the Overloader, because it's a wired vehicle, has caught the cutter in real life. Of course, that would be a devastating thing. It costs you thousands of pounds to repair the cutter, maybe on all the fittings on the harvester. And then what you don't want happening is this, where the overloader stops on the um, harvest, unharvested field. You want it to stop on the harvested part, the bare part of the field. Um, so we're just going to have to jump into it manually and move the uh, overloader and I think at this point uh, I send it on to go on empty just to give us a run through because it makes the videos too long of course if I don't send it to go on empty and, and attempt to show you where it goes so anyway um, we'll do that in the next video perhaps and we'll show you more about the um, spray course that's in two parts